Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Julian Hans, if I said that right. Yeah, it close, Julian Hans, is, but it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for being on here. No problem, I'm, I'm, thank you for, for being here as well. So I got a bunch of questions here. It's more than I usually ask, but I not that much more, only two or three more. So I'm free. Oh, good. So yeah, first up, I wanted to ask you how you got, how you just got, how you got started in racing. So it was on holiday when I was, I think, six years old. My father, my brother, and me, we were doing some karting, and it made so much fun that always when we were on holiday, we searched for a close cutting track to to have fun there and after a certain point we we bought our own cart and started racing in small categories like club club sport hobby sport and yeah then when you win the first few races and then you start to to think what i'm doing now so like a next competition then we started like doing the uh, west europe uh, West Germany championship and when I won that we went to the German championship and also to to Europe and stuff yeah, and when I won, won the German championship in karting 2014 uh, I went to Formula then okay yeah it's pretty cool Ra racing is pretty cool because someday I want to get into racing but don't really have have enough money to do that right now but so yeah i was just wondering what your favorite part of racing is my favorite part yep yeah for me it's uh at one point to drive the car completely on the edge to to push everything out of the car to drive it to drive it so close to the limit and also the the fight man versus man on track and yeah, but I also love to work with a team and uh, be part of a team that we all work together for one for one goal. Uh, it's also a big part for me. So, um, I was just wondering what, if if really anything inspired you, but I was wondering if anything, if there's anything specific that inspired you to want to start racing. Uh, that question I never asked before, but I think it was like the passion when you start putting that work in, that it, that it uh, how to say, when you put the work in that you get success when you work hard for this. I think it's in the most of the sports, sports like this, if you really put a lot of work in with with uh, fitness and mentally and stuff and working on the simulator you get better and better and also this was something for me where i noticed i love racing like i said i love it to drive the car on the edge to fight and uh, i think this is what what motorsport really why it went so deep in my heart yeah um racing is it's pretty it must be, it must be a, take a, it must take a lot out of you to race and to compete with all those other people so i was just wondering if you had a pre-race meal to get you to prepared for all that like if you have anything specific or before the race yeah pre-race meal uh yeah it depends a little so i'm a i'm a big big fan oh one second so I'm a big fan of uh, a low carb diet, so I always look that I have a lot of fats before my race or a lot of proteins, but often I also drive without eating anything. So I'm a little bit more focused. Yeah, um, yeah, that's normally what I eat before, for example, scrambled eggs or some nuts or so, that's always in my, in my bag, yeah. <laughs> So, I I actually saw on your Instagram in your description it said you were you said you were a car enthusiast. Yes. I was 
I was wondering if you have a favorite car. Yeah, I have a few. <laughs> so for me, it's currently uh, Audi RS3, which, I, which is my daily. So I am completely in love with this. But when you go more to the more expensive cars, it's probably like a Porsche 911 or so. Yeah, or Ferrari. Yeah, I, I like those the Porsche 911s. I actually, Porsche. Um, I actually have a diecast of one of them. And they're they're pretty nice. It'd be mm. cool to ride someday. So I was. This is kind of. I don't know, like in touch with what I just. I don't know, but I was wondering how you train for train for the races. Like, what your training is. From the athletic side, you mean? Yeah. Um, so for me, it's always important to have a, a lot of uh, what is the name? Stamina. Uh, probably. Yeah, endurance. So a lot of endurance training that I'm always have a. How to say that? My English is not that good on that point. So I always go a lot of running, biking, and stuff, but also a lot of strength training. Because I'm quite tall, I'm 191 centimeters tall. Uh, I have to really watch out of my weight, so I am not allowed to have a lot of muscles because of the body weight. And this is why I always uh, do not a normal strength set training. I do like strength session only, explosive stuff that I don't grow a lot of muscles yeah. and stability from the. Uh, from the body okay. core and so yeah I, yeah i could imagine it could it would take a lot of work to take a lot of training and physical fitness to race because got to be pretty be you know pretty fit yeah if not not in every race there are tracks which are really really difficult for example sunford is a tough one when there's 30 degrees or so and the long long corners is quite tough so at at a few few tracks you really have to be spot on from the from the athletic side yeah yeah so this is kind of just a little bit off topic with what i just asked you but i was wondering what the well what you would say the worst wreck you've been in if you have any specific or if you've even been in a bad wreck what would you mean? Uh, when, if I had bad luck, what like, do you mean? What the worst, the worst wreck you've been in is? Oh, hard to say. Because oh, earlier, earlier I was watching some, um, some wrecks, just racing wrecks, and some of them they look pretty intense. I saw this guy; he he flipped over. Ah, uh, ah, yeah. You mind? You mean from the simulator? Just from real real life racing oh, oh you mean this uh yeah i had a few one in karting i had a big one where i also flipped and i was knocked out it was quite quite tough but in in uh, car racing i didn't have luckily i didn't had a had a big one yet hopefully it stays like this <laughs> cool. yeah yeah so um this is also just kind of off topic with what I asked you, but I always find it kind of interesting to really like, I always find it kind of interesting. Sometimes I see how drivers, race car drivers, they, they sometimes they talk about really weird fan encounters they have, they've had. Like sometimes I, I've, I've seen, so I've heard someone talk about once while they were in the, in the bathroom, somebody actually asked them for an autograph while they were going to the bathroom. So I was wondering what the weirdest fan encounter you've had is. Yeah, it's it's always like this. You know, when you have a, have a few fans, there are also some people which are a little bit weird. But uh, yeah, I, I never answer on that. I also got a, some DMs which I, which I thought, oh my God, what's wrong with you? But I... I I delete them and I don't think about it anymore. But there are also a few DMs where I said, unbelievable, what are the people thinking there? <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. for example for nudes or so so imagine if i make a, a nude and send it someone and it goes around the world <laughs> that would be <laughs> rest in peace <laughs> yeah those dms messages can get pretty weird sometimes i once yeah, sure. i once actually got a message somebody offered me to join the illuminati which that was pretty weird <laughs> Really? Well, luckily, I, I, I didn't have that one yet. <laughs> yeah, I checked the, the account. It was called, like, Devil... Some I don't know. It was something really weird that had to do with, like, Satan and the Illuminati. Okay, yeah. yeah I had no till yet always, like, uh, send me a pic of your underwear or send me your underwear or your socks or so, so stuff. But with Illuminati, I didn't get in touch yet, luckily. Yeah, I just... I don't know what goes through these people's minds. Yeah, I also don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was wondering if you had a favorite racer growing up, like just a favorite any, in any racing series, just a favorite racer. Ooh. Normally when I get asked for my idol, I would say it's my father. Because in racing, you know, if you... If you look up to someone and say that's your idol, I don't think that is that is good for you because you 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 take him on top on top on you. So when you're on the racetrack against him, your mindset shouldn't be that he's on top of you, no matter who it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's no. that's why I I never take an idol. A few years ago, I had an idol like Lewis Hamilton or so, but I, my mindset switched a little bit and yeah, that's changed. So, um, probably should have asked you this when I asked when your worst wreck is, but I was wondering what, what normally goes through your mind when spinning out or like going into the grass or anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> Probably every driver thinks about, oh, what will my engineer say? <laughs> <laughs> or or the, hopefully the onboard camera is not recording. These are the two thoughts which are directly going in your mind as a racing driver. Yeah, but normally you, you think like when you go through, through the grass or so, you normally come into the pit or so because you, when you have grass in the radiator, you have a you, the engine overheats also, so you always have to think about going in the pit. Talk about the team, give give a on the radio a short information to the engineer. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if I've have I asked you what your biggest goal for your career is yet. No, not yet. My okay, biggest so goal for my career. <laughs> A good question. I want to get uh, to be a factory driver for for a for a brand. I don't know which yet, but I want to. And to stay in motorsport, you know, motorsport fulfilled my life. I love it completely. I want to have it through my whole life. It belongs to me. So I want to make my passion to a profession. Yeah, I just I just recently started getting into motorsports. Um, I think. It really 2017 is when i started like getting into it kind of but i didn't really look watch any races or anything and then 2019 is really when i really started watching races normally yeah but, but cool and how do you came to motorsports through formula one or what well i started i started liking motorsports from nascar i watched the 2019 daytona 500 mm. and and I just really started what, going from there. Just, just anything with wheels and an engine, I like. <laughs> nice stuff. So yeah, this is, this is actually my last question. I was wondering if you have any tips for anyone who wants to get into just, just who wants to get into racing. <laughs> Good tips. Such a big sponsor. Oh, well, sadly, motorsport gets so expensive that that normally, yeah. Yeah, normal people are not able to to compete in the sport on on high level. You know, as a hobby, you can you can do it, but when you go to professional races or so, you're you're not able to 
to be fast uh, compared to the guys who have a lot of money or big investors. Yeah, for example, when you really want to go professional, you you need a big sponsor for sure. So yeah, yeah. you don't need that your family is, is rich or so, but you have to, uh, you need a lot of good contacts from the family side, which are maybe have business partners or so who are able to, to invest a little or just contacts with management to which speaks to teams and stuff. Yeah. It's really important in motorsport. So it's always a getting in motorsport. It's always about the money, the right contacts, being on the right time in the right, right uh, area. And also you yeah, to perform for sure. Yeah. yeah racing is, it's, it's definitely really expensive. My brother, actually, he, Sometimes um, he just he's been saving up to try and get a to get a car like a lower series car, but yeah, it's definitely really expensive. Sometimes he comes up to me and asks me if if we if we want to start saving money and like sharing the money and saving it together. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's really hard. Mhm. Mm yeah. But if. If I never end up racing, really, I think it'd be, I think it'd be cool to drum for a, like drum for a band. That'd be pretty cool. For a band, yeah, you're a drummer. Yeah, I've been drumming oh. since like 2016, I think. Oh, okay, nice, very nice. Cool stuff. So yeah, were you gonna say something? I'm fine so far. If you have don't, no more okay. questions. But if you want, you can ask other questions or so. I'm, I'm free. <laughs> okay. So that, that is actually all the questions I got for you. Actually, have, I have another one. I was wondering if you have any tips, tips for me to get for future interviews on what you think I could improve on. Or... Uh, I really have to say I'm, it was a really good interview. You are really good prepared had a lot of fun to talk to you and also you already made a mind before also had a few interviews where the people call me and uh, are thinking about uh, what am i'm asking him <laughs> so it was really well prepared thank you in my opinion it was really fine thank you thank you that means a lot um so thank you for being on here i've, I've had a lot of fun this is probably one of the probably one of the funnest interviews i've been in so yeah same for me thank you very much thank you have a have a good day you too i have night now <laughs> mm, all right uh, yeah you're right. <laughs> bye we see us yeah bye 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 thank you thank you